I'm Ian Irvin. This is my brother, who I happen to live with. I'm Andrew Irvin. We currently are roommates, and we live and work together. Yeah, you wanna go walk the dogs in a bit? Today I'm gonna to venture out and take the dogs for a walk on the Han Farm Trail, and I'm gonna to head to work. Ian's the chef of the restaurant and he, his uh, job is to make sure that the menu is looking great and tasting great. I uh, started today at 9. Um, cleaning the fryers is the first thing I always do. Fryers in the filter. Right. Oh, yeah, really, I only really started cooking because we opened up the restaurant, but I always was had an interest in food. My dad is a career chef. He's been cooking for 40 years. He's only retired but I, I started working for him really. Um, but yeah, I started cooking when I was 17 when we opened up North's Fine Dining. Um, I just kind of just love cooking. Love food. Hey Dad, stop making pico. Press on the list. <laughs> I'm off to the beer store and then off to the LCBO. Excellent. Thank you. Have yourselves a great day. I originally moved to Gravenhurst to afford a lifestyle. I was living at West, just outside of Calgary, and really looking to settle down in a sense, and uh, realized pretty quickly that it was very hard to make it work out there. Um, so started looking in Gravenhurst, which is where my parents were and owned a business. Once I started looking, I just started to notice how, how it was right up my alley. The, the properties were big, the prices were very reasonable, and it had the outdoor element, which I liked coming from out west. It had the lakes and the wilderness, the forests, the trails and stuff like that. Andrew, he's, he's the front end manager. He, he looks after the other half of the business, really, making sure that the servers don't get out of hand and that, that the customers are happy. Gravenhurst is a great spot to start a business or to move a business. I think there's a, a lot of really great support from the other businesses in town and from through the Chamber of Commerce and then through the town of Gravenhurst itself, I think. There's a lot of people that are wanting to steer this town into a really good direction and have it grow and prosper and become a tourist destination, become a, a working from home destination. I'm very lucky, I think we're all very lucky in Greg Nurse that it's, it's so small that you can literally walk anywhere within half an hour if you have to. It takes me 15 minutes from door to door to get here. There's a lake on either side of the town, so you can't go wrong with, with any route you take. You're always gonna have a, a pretty good view of something. Once the day's finished, we can uh, kind of go off and enjoy the rest of the sun in the afternoon. We can go to my, my grandpa's cottage on the lake. I love being close to the water, I love being on the water. I think that's kind of what draws people to Muskoka or to Greenhurst or you know, anywhere around here. It's just being close to the lakes, being able to jump in or go for a boat ride or sea dew or kayak or canoe. I mean, all the activities kind of are based around hiking around a lake or being on a lake. Um, that's, yeah, that's about it. Hello. 
After you've had your day, it's really nice to go drown your sorrows in the local brewery called Silas City Brewery. So we're going to be going there tonight to do trivia. <laughs> We are having a busy night tonight. I love Graveyards because it's so small. I'm a small town boy. I just like that I can you know, have a conversation with anybody walking down the street. I can walk into any store and you know, kind of know anybody. It's so friendly. It's unprejudiced. It's welcoming to everybody. It's quiet. <laughs> it's really I mean, everything you could ever want and maybe at this age in life. Great for certain families, which I have not done yet, but I want to be here when I do. <laughs> well, we didn't lose necessarily. It'd be nice that there would be there was more things going on every night, like if you were in the city. Um, but I, I would give that up probably any day to know that there's peace of mind here. Good night, bro.